This is my time-lapse build log of an Italeri 148 scale TA-152H1, and I'll be using the super scale sheet to make this aircraft, Yellow 4 of JG-301, flown in service in 1945. And as per usual with these kits, I will be starting construction with the cockpit, so here we go. through some of the pieces here for the TA-152, uh, I came across an interesting sprue, which I, I really hadn't looked through this kit yet before I started this. Uh, just took a quick look at the instructions um, and moved on. However, I discovered um, this sprue in here. And I don't know if you guys can see, uh, there are engine block pieces and more engine pieces and extra cowlings um, and it, what I assumed was some sort of like a, a cart um, but I didn't see any wheels or anything in this um, so I uh, and the other thing I also noticed is the cowlings the extra cowlings that come on here are exactly the same as the cowlings that are already on the kit. Uh, there's nothing different between the cowling on the kit and the cowling on this engine sprue, uh, which made, I'll, well, however, um, if you look at the fuselage, I mean, if you, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, there's uh, uh, an edge here, it gives you a line, shows you almost a cut line in through here, and again, up across there, and into the top here. Uh, so these type of moldings are usually a point where it's telling you to cut to remove a piece and the cowlings that they provide for you include a number of internal details. So that got my mind going and I did a bit of research online. Turned out this is an old, I believe it's Dragon, an old Dragon molding. Um, that has been reboxed by both Italeri in Europe and Hasegawa. Um, the instructions make zero mention of this sprue. Um, some online research and um, sites uh, that talk about this Italeri boxing claim that the engine sprue was never included. It was only ever included in the Hasegawa rebox and the original Dragon Kit. Uh, so I am not entirely sure why this is in this box, or if maybe it was added later on in the production run with the Tallery. They included the moldings for the engine. Um, but what this gives me the ability to do is build this model with an open engine bay. Um, so yeah, my initial plan was to build this one with the wheels up on a stand. And now that I see this, I think I might put, the, put this one wheels down. So this is going to change everything about this build. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go with a modified plan here and uh, 
We'll see how it turns out. Back to the building. For the uh, TA-152, current build status, uh, we have the basis of the cockpit uh, ready to go. Um, side panels are in place, the rudder pedals are in place. I have the seat, uh, which was an actually early ejection seat. So you can actually see the rails at the back. A very One of the er first uh, ejection seats in service, so it's ready to go. And the lower half of the instrument panel. Uh, still got a bit more cockpit work to do on that TA-152. And then when I am ready to uh, paint the cockpits gray, I will start painting everything. So current status on that, and uh, let's get back to it.
Okay, here we are, we're back. We have all of the parts painted. As I uh, stated before, uh, engine mounts, uh, landing gear doors, landing gear cowlings, the inside of the uh, cow flaps, and we also have all the wing panels again. Uh, I don't know if the color is going to stand out. Um, this one, the color is a little bit more noticeable than on the other ones, but uh, this color gray is very close to the base color of most of the styrene I'm painting, so it's a little harder to see. Um, that color gray, but once you paint all the other colors, that color gray will definitely stand out. So, time to get this stuff put away, and we will get ready for the next one. Next up, we should be painting uh, the cockpit parts for this one. So, stay tuned. Okay, an update on the uh, TA-152 status. Uh, still don't have the cockpit gray. I've been waiting until uh, I have some free time to head out to the hobby shop and pick that up. Got a couple of colors I need to get, so I'll do all that in one shot. Uh, until then, I've been working on the props, as you've seen. I've got them ready to go, and I got them painted today. Um, so here's the prop uh, painted. Uh, our, uh, it's uh, uh, Black green is the official German color. Uh, my research has told me that uh, the Model Master equivalent is RLM-70, which I had. So I was able to get those painted. And this one I've also, so I glued the blades uh, to the center hub uh, just to make it a little easier for me to paint. Um, and it also, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, um, painting uh, or gluing painted surfaces don't work as well. So you're better off to glue things together before paint as much as possible. So I got that glued together and then painted green. And I also got the spinner uh, painted black green. Uh, the spinner on the uh, TA-152 is black green with a white a spiral so that's all painted up ready to go so these guys are gonna sit here for a little bit get uh, a little more dry and and I you know make sure the paint doesn't rub off and then uh, I'll see what else I'll be able to get done before I get the uh, cockpit gray so stay tuned and we'll see where we end up
ATR. The uh, aircraft has got some work done on it. Um, the base painting is done. Uh, so you'll see for the inside of the fuselage, I've got the engine area painted and weathered and highlighted. The cockpit, there isn't a lot of sidewall detail in this cockpit, but um, a bit of weathering has been done just to bring out some of the highlights. So that's done. Uh, the wheel wells, very happy with how that turned out. Uh, you've got the main wing with the main spire behind it. That's all been shadowed and weathered. And then you've got the main gear bays themselves um, painted up and weathered. So there'd be a, there's a lot of detail inside of these, uh, these wheel bays. So all that is uh, done and uh, ready for assembly. Um, we'll look at some of the smaller parts we have here. This one has quite a bit going for it. So uh, props and spinners are painted. Props and spinners are painted. Um, for the, the cockpit, we've got the seat, uh, the instrument panels, you know, the headrest, um, the, the decking behind, all of that's been painted and weathered. The main landing gears are done. Um, the, uh, all of the engine parts, so the insides of the cowlings have gotten the, uh, the weathering treatment done. The engine mount has had it's weathering done. We've got the gear doors, the inner and outer main gear doors. Uh, we've got the engine um, mounts themselves. Uh, that's all been uh, ready to go. Uh, we've got the cowling. A bit of weathering has been done inside the cowling. Uh, there's some of these parts here. Um, I forgot about the headrest, so that still needs to be weathered. As well as some of these parts uh, for the engine. I'm going to weather them once they're assembled on the main engine core. So some of these parts that I forgot about, I'll take care of later. Um, I've still got some a bit of painting here to do. So we'll deal with that a little later as the engine gets assembled together. Uh, for the engine, and, oh, wait, we got landing gear. So the landing gear you can see painted, weathered up, some highlights done on them. All set to go. Uh, the engine itself is here. Um, so it's painted aluminum. I gave it a black wash with the um, water-based tempera wash that I do. And I also went through with the Tamiya panel line center, center. Um, and I went through and picked out some more of the little detail parts here and there just to really make it pop out. So this is all uh, all set to go. As well as the, uh, the turbo, the turbocharger intake again, uh, black washed on the outside with the water based and then I picked out the inside of the, the uh, turbo intake with some, uh, some of the panel wash accenter from Tamiya. So that's ready to go. Um, so you'll start to see from here on out um, some, some assembly, starting to put some of these parts together, getting everything ready to go. Uh, you'll see um, fuselage coming together, the wings coming together, everything starting to get into mounted together. So stay tuned and all of these random bits will start coming together to look like an airplane. And then uh, the next step after that is gonna be painting. So uh, stay tuned and watch an airplane come together.
can see me uh, beginning to mask off the cockpit areas, um, as well as some of the wheel wells and the engine details in preparation for the painting process. April 29th, got some progress, and we've hit a milestone of sorts on the construction of this model. Uh, so uh, we are past the construction point, and we're on to the finishing point. Uh, so as you can see here, it's uh, it's fully assembled. All the uh, the main components are, are, are uh, installed. Uh, we've got the canopy uh, masked off, ready to go. Uh, so we'll be painting the um, the cockpit gray on there to get the interior of the framings. Um, the interior color, so when you look through the window, you see interior color, not exterior color. So that's the next step. And you can see here we've got the forward area, uh, this spot here with the interior color needs to be protected. And then all the engine components have been masked off and uh, filled in with uh, Kleenex as well as the, uh, the wheel wells. Uh, this area here I'll use a, a blank or plate when I paint so you won't notice it. But yeah, so that's pretty much ready to go. Uh, once I get the cockpit color gray done, um, I'm going to be uh, moving on to the... Uh, Camouflage color, I'm not going to be doing any pre-shading on this model as I want to depict it as a slightly newer aircraft, um, fresh off the production line, so to speak. So it'll have a very minimal weathering, a little bit. I mean, it will have been looked like it used in, co in combat. So some exhaust staining, some gun staining, you know, that kind of stuff, but nothing nothing over the top, just enough to say that it was uh, it was weathered. So uh, here we are. Milestone moment. Stay tuned. we get to see some painting.
so unfortunately guys, uh, there's a bit of a technical difficulties. So I was unable to get video of the painting process of the TA-152, uh, but uh, it is done. Well, the initial green color. So here it is with the green. Uh, so you can see I painted the only areas that are green and then the interior areas should be filled with the brown. And then the, uh, the splotches uh, turned out a lot better than expected. So there they are with the, uh, the splotches on the side. So uh, next up we'll get the brown painted and hopefully you'll see some video of me prepping the, uh, the paper. But I did manage to get some pictures taken and uh, here's a quick, uh, quick a montage of some of those pictures of how it turned out. Um, and I guess before we do that you'll also see here's the uh, the cowling and then the uh, the panels. Uh, so you can see the splotches installed on that. So anyways like I said here's a quick montage of the process and then we'll get back at it. So here we are, update on the TA-152, uh, uh, kind of the end of that uh, stage two is completed. Uh, painting's all done and the, uh, the gloss coat has been applied. Um, so it's uh, ready for decals and then weathering. So uh, stay tuned and uh, you can see how this thing turned out. Here I start the decaling process. This involves both pre-treating the surface with a future coat, the gloss coat, and then a pre-decal liquid plus the application of the decal, and then a post-decal setting solution that helps the decal settle into all the cracks and crevices of the model.
Now that the painting is complete, I am starting the process of the weathering. Uh, it begins here with the black wash, and then that moves on to some highlighting and some uh, weathering in terms of exhaust staining and the uh, gun exhaust staining.
now that the kit is complete, here are some pictures I've taken of the completed models. There will be a few different angles and whatnot, and uh, more can be found on the uh, website, which I will have uh, included in the um, comment section below or in the description below. So feel free to go to my website and take a look at the entire build log uh, pictures as well as the finished model pictures that I have included at the bottom. Thank you for watching the video.